Today's mental health moment is about the health benefits of organization and decluttering. Organizing and decluttering your life is good for both your mind and your body. Clutter in your home, cabinets, floors, counters, or your workspace can wreak havoc on everything from your stress levels to the safety of your home or office. The physical health benefits of organization are one, organization makes it easier to find things like important documents, two, eliminates germs and prevents pest problems, and three, reduces the risk of fire in your home. Some mental health benefits of organization are, one, increases your productivity and task performance, two, decreases your cortisol levels, the stress hormone. When your environment is calm and organized, your mind has a tendency to follow suit. Sometimes people report feelings of restlessness, like work never gets done, or distraction because their senses are overwhelmed processing their surroundings, or like time is being wasted, inability to find things. Some clutter is normal. The question to ask is whether it functions for you. There are a few signs that clutter is impacting your quality of life. One, if piles are starting to grow in height and number. If you have pest problems related to clutter. If you're isolating yourself or feeling embarrassed to have people visit your home or office. Or if it affects your ability to be able to find important items, manage your finances, or stay on top of your regular household chores. Clutter can signal some bigger health issues. Excessive clutter and disorganization are often signs of bigger health problems, such as ADD, which is Attention Deficit Disorder, OCD, which is Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or depression. If you feel this may be the case, you should seek a mental health professional to work with you to change those behaviors. I'm gonna offer four ways to get a handle on clutter and to be more organized. One, you can try the three box method where you label three boxes, trash, donate, or keep. Go through one cluttered area in your home or office at a time and place items in the appropriate box. Ask yourself if you've used it in the recent months, if someone else could put it to better use, or if you should relocate or rearrange it within your home. Aim for at least 12 items in each box. Streamline your closet by season, choosing 10 to 15 pieces of interchangeable clothing for work and weekends. Consider donating or selling clothing that you haven't worn in more than six to 12 months. You can also examine your home for overlooked storage spaces. Use inexpensive hooks, hanging organizers, and shelf organizers to give you more storage options without taking up excessive space. You may also purchase several bins or baskets in the same color to easily organize your things. By using the same colors, that can give you a sense of calm and organization. Remember, it's not an all or nothing process. Just tackling one small area at a time can help you feel better about your surroundings rather than feeling overwhelmed that the entire house or office needs an overhaul. If you have any questions, you can contact us at parcommunityrelations at piedmont.org. Thank you.